Hey everyone, it's Cliff2475, and this is part one of two on how to make ballistic gel for airsoft or normal uh, rifle testing. I hope you guys enjoy it, find it informative, and uh, can use it to make your own. Step one, assemble your materials. Step 2. Pour the gelatin mix into a mixing bowl. Do not add the water yet. Eventually you should have something that looks a lot like this. Step 3. Slowly pour warm or hot water into the bowl. and then mix it up slowly as well. If you go too quickly, air bubbles will form. Step four, take the mixture of water and gelatin and place it in the refrigerator for four to eight hours or until it sets up fully. It's best to leave it overnight. After letting your ballistics gel set up overnight, it should have a texture uh, similar to gelatin. Um, and what you want to do is you want to fill up a sink full of hot water and gently float your bowl of gel gelatin in it so it will melt. You do not want to get any water in the gelatin itself. That will mess up the, the uh, texture. While you're waiting for your gelatin to melt, a good thing to do is to spray whatever kind of mold you will be using for your ballistics gel with cooking spray. This keeps it from sticking to the sides when it's time to take it out. After about 10 to 20 minutes, your gelatin will look something like this after it's completely melted out. And then you just want to stir it around to make sure you don't have any large chunks left, which will mess up the um, gel when you're finished. And then you want to gently take your mold and pour the gelatin, the melted gelatin, into the mold. Um, this doesn't have to be very slow. You can go at any speed you want, really, for this part, because you don't have anything that you can mess up now that it's all melted out. Once you've poured the melted gelatin into the mold, put a lid or something on it, saran wrap, so it'll lock in the coldness and take it over and put it into your refrigerator again. You want to let this sit for 12 to 18 hours this time, so definitely overnight before your gelatin is ready. Finally, after letting your ballistics gel sit for about 12 hours, it'll be ready for testing. To get out of the container, all you have to do is turn it upside down over a piece of paper or something similar, and then just stomp it out of the container. And you have your own block of ballistics gel. Thank you for watching. I'm Cliff2475, and uh, check out my other videos on the testing of the ballistic gel.